Hello friends, today I will discuss Pablo Neruda's famous poem, Tonight I Can Write. In this video, I will present an introduction on the poet, on the poem, setting of the poem, literary censorship and many more. But before going to the text itself, let us have a look at the poet Pablo Neruda. Pablo Neruda, poet to, tonight I can write, belonged to the generation of 1927, a group of Spanish poets. Dear students, the generation of 27 was an influential group of poets that arose in Spanish literary circles between 1923 and 1927. Essentially, out of a shared desire to experience and work with avant-garde forms of art and poetry. So, the generation of 27 is a group of Latin American poets who influenced the literature in a vast scale. However, Pablo Neruda is a famous international literary figure. Neruda is often considered the national poet of Chile and his works have been popular and influential worldwide. The Colombian novelist Gabriel Garcia Marquez, who is famous for his 100 years of solitude, once called Pablo Neruda, quote unquote, the greatest poet of the 20th century in any language. However, let us look at Pablo Neruda, though Pablo Neruda is famous in his pen name Pablo Neruda, his original name, actual name is Ricardo Elisa Neftali Reis Basalto. He was born on 12th July 1904 at Farrell, Chile. His language Spanish, English, French. Mainly his writings are in Spanish. Nationality Chilean. His notable awards that was awarded to him. International Peace Prize 1950, Lenin Peace Prize 1953, Nobel Prize in Literature in 1971. This great literary figure died on 23 September 1973, aged 69. Santiago, Chile. This great literary figure is highly praised by the critic Harold Bloom, who concluded Neruda as one of the writers central to the Western tradition in his book, The Western Canon. Actually, Neruda became known as a poet when he was 13 years old and wrote in a variety of styles including surrealist poems, historical epics, overtly political manifestos, a prose, of, a prose autobiography and passionate love poems. Different people have opined differently about Neruda, but the truth is that he won the hearts of millions by virtue of his poetry. Though he lacked the ability to be critical and discerning yet, he was at times quite perceptive about his country and its poets. Besides, he was also regarded as a generous man, but he also had to face a lot of derision of his critics due to his loyalty to commission. His readers still regard him as their most favorite poets. He was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1971. So this is in short about Pablo Neruda. He is a famous Nobel laureate and poet, mainly his love poems make us feel something in his way. Pablo Neruda actually was famous by his poetic volume, Venti Poemas de Amor Yuna. Kensian Desis Pareda. This is the 
Spanish title. It means 20 love poems and a desperate song. Tonight I Can Write is included in this notable work of Pablo Neruda, 20 love poems and a desperate song. Tonight I Can Write is the recipient of much critical acclaim but also of much censorship primarily due to its eroticism which shocked the then general public especially considering the author's young age when he was 20s this poem was written now it remains the best selling spanish poetry book though it was under the attack of censorship at a time even after its 100 years of publication it is one of the best selling spanish poetry book this poem was written in spanish in 1924 and later translated into english in 1969 the poem was translated by W.S. Marwin. It is about memories of a lost love and the pain they can cause. Actually, it brings out the pain as felt sincerely by the lover poet. It is written in the style of a monologue. So, what is the setting of the poem? The poem takes place under the great endless sky dotted with numerous stars. The speaker who recently lost the love of his life is bitterly regretting the separation and recapitulating, remembering his past memories. So this is the setting of the poem. The poet is writing the poem under the vast sky. Let us look at the very synopsis of the poem or a few words about the poem. Neruda's poems are full of easily understood images, the deliberate repetition of certain words and images such as my sight searches for her, my heart looks for her emphasizes the overwrought condition of the crazed lover. The poet is a jealous lover who imagines that she will be another's. এটা আমাদের অনেকেরই একই রকম অনুভূতি যখন আমরা প্রেমে আঘাত পাই তখন আমরা যন্ত্রণায় ভুগি আমার প্রেমিকা অন্যের হয়ে যাবে আসলে একটি সাধারণ প্রেমের কাহিনী তার মধ্যে এক অসাধারণ ইউনিভার্সালিটি দ্য পার্সোনাল হ্যাজ বিকাম ইউনিভার্সাল হেয়ার ইন লাইজ দ্য ভেরি সুপ্রিমেসি অ্যান্ড দ্য ফেম অফ পাবলো নেরুদা ব্যক্তিগত অনুভূতিগুলোকে তিনি সার্বজনীন স্তরে উন্নীত করে দিয়েছেন হাউ এভার দ্য অর্ডিনারিনেস অফ দিস লাভ অ্যাফেয়ার দ্যাট অলমোস্ট এনি ওয়ান ক্যান আইডেন্টিফাই উইথ সিওরলি রিচেস এ প্রফাউন্ডলি ইউনিভার্সাল লেভেল হোয়েন ই কনফেসেস লাভ ইজ শর্ট ফর গেটিং ইজ সো লং কি সুন্দর কথা এবং এটা একটা প্রোভারবিয়াল কথা এভার কোটেড একটা কথা লাভ ইজ সো শর্ট ফর গেটিং ইজ সো লং দ্য ওমেন ক্যান বি সিন described in the poem as the condescending one, patronizing one and the personification of poetic inspiration. So Neruda's poems are full of easily understood images but they make the poem no less beautiful rather simplicity is deceptive. Pablo Neruda employs vivid nature imagery also to express the loss of his love in this poem. Probably the last time he is writing about the woman he once loved and lost. There is a growing feeling of solitariness in the poet that all the nature and the environment have remained unchanged over the years. He has lost the woman he once loved. Ek dharner romantic craving ei kobitar moddhe amra pacchi. Dukher shur prabahito hocche. Thik jemon kore W.B. Yeats er kobitay amra kothao sei dukher shur the melancholy tune runs through whole of, whole of the poem in this case also. The expression is intensely lyrical and full of agony when he says the night is shattered and the blue stars shiver in the distance. The poignancy of the situation is further heightened when he realizes I loved her and sometimes she loved me too. And equally she loved me, sometimes I loved her too. How could one not have loved her great still eyes? So this is the charm of Pablo Neruda.
Pablo Neruda's Tonight I can write the saddest lines begins with the single line Tonight I can write the saddest lines and this remains the recurring theme it comes time and again the poet very often has used the very first line Tonight I can write the saddest lines the poem consists of night imagery and the alliteration of A's all through the lines reflect the quiet night. The night and the nocturnal nature could be both treacherous and beautiful. Ratri Sundar Ebang Shayaki Shange Ratri Trecharaso Hayuktebare. And this could also reflect the personal relationship. In the poem, tonight I can write, the poet is extensively lyrical and the very verbs he uses in the lines like the night is shattered and the blue stars shiver in the distance emphasize the paint up passion that inspires his poetry. So this is the paint up passion that inspires his poetry. The significance of the love affair lies in the fact that he has lost her for he admits that while she loved me sometimes I loved her too. It does not seem as though he realized what it was to love until he starts writing about her. In fact, it is the idea of love that he loves more than the woman and thus he can write the saddest lines. So such sentiments immediately charmed the young people who were themselves experiencing similar emotions and they were able to identify with Neruda and appropriate his words in their own love affairs. So this is what makes Neruda so much a poet of the common people. Common people can resemble their situation with Neruda's. So Neruda's poem is not at all personal. The personal feelings have become universal. So herein lies the very charm, charm of Pablo Neruda, the very famous poet. But this famous poem also had to undergo literary censorship. Chile's leading publisher refused to publish this very poem, 20 love poems and the song of despair which was included in the uh, poetic volume, 20 love poems and a song of despair because of its blatant eroticism. When the collection was eventually published, many readers were scandalized by the sexually explicit imagery. At a place, the poet says, through nights like this one, I held her in my arms, I kissed her again and again under the endless sky. Shai shamae America te tumul alochito hoye chilo, ei kovita, ei kovita rei explicitly sexual imageries. Tai prakashito korte chai ni, kintu prakashito hoye jawar pore, akso bachar pore ho ei kovita ar guru to ektu okamen. এবং এই কবিতায় যে মহিলার কথা বলা হয়েছে নেরুদা হ্যাজ অ্যাডমিটেড দ্যাট দা পোয়েমস ইন 20 লাভ পোয়েমস এন্ড এ সং অফ ডিসপেয়ার ওয়ার ইন্সপায়ার বাই হিজ রিলেশনশিপস উইথ টু ওমেন ডিউরিং হিজ স্টুডেন্ট ইয়ার্স ইন সান্তিয়াগো টু ডিস্টিংক্ট ওমেন ইমার্জ ইন দা পোয়েমস ইন দিস কালেকশন এ মিস্টেরিয়াস গার্ল ইন এ বেরেট এন্ড অ্যানাদার ইয়াং ওমেন অলদো হি ডাজ নট আইডেন্টিফাই দা ওমেন বাই নেম ইন দা পোয়েমস Later in an interview, he referred to them as Marisol and Marisomra. The posthumous publication of his letters in 1974 revealed the girl in the barrack to be Albertina Azokar, the sister of his close friend Ruben Azokar. However, the identity just like the uh, dark lady in Shakespearean sonnets is not of prior importance. However, uh, the woman rejected the lover as it was the case in last ride together of drowning. So the theme is common, love is the common theme here. The woman rejected the poet and the very pangs, the pains, sufferings has led the poet to write this poem. So let us start the text, first 10 lines of the text. 
this poem tonight i can write was published in 1924 just as pablo neruda entered his 20s ebong matro ei kom boyoshe emon dhoroner kobita lekha jothesto sahasi podokkhep chilo tokhon kar shomoy in his poem the speaker is dealing with the end of a relationship and longing for the woman to be back in his arms the repetition of tonight i can write the saddest lights brings the reader's attention to the theme throughout this sad love poem so what is the recurring theme recurring theme is distance let us have a look at the poem tonight i can write the saddest lines right for example the night is shattered and the blue stars shiver in the distance the night wind revolves in the sky and sings tonight i can write the saddest lines i loved her and sometimes she loved me too through nights like this one i held her in my arms i kissed her again and again under the endless sky she loved me sometimes and loved her too how could one not have loved her great still eyes so this is the first 10 lines of the text pablo neruda has used alliteration throughout this poem with many words beginning with s saddest shattered star sky soul etc the staggered repetition throughout the poem provide the very thematic unity the poem is obviously ends in the first line ends with lines shattered distance the ending of the uh, lines do not match or rhyme or rhythm it is a free verse written in a simple and concise language understood by all tonight i can write the saddest lines so the theme of distance is introduced here theme of distance is introduced here the very opening from the very opening line the distance the aloneness the alienation kobi ekaki royechen tei tai tini saddest lines চরমতম দুঃখের লাইনগুলো লিখে ফেলতে পারে আমরা জানি আওয়ার সুইটেস্ট সংস আর দোজ দ্যাট টেল অফ স্যাডেস্ট থটস কবি উদাহরণ হিসাবে বলছেন কেমন ধরনের লাইন লিখে ফেলতে পারেন দ্য নাইট ইজ স্যাটার্ড অ্যান্ড দ্য ব্লু স্টার সিভার ইন দ্য ডিস্টেন্স অ্যাজ ইন দ্য ওপেনিং লাইন দ্য থিম অফ ডিস্টেন্স ইজ ইন্ট্রোডিউসড থ্রু আউট দ্য পোয়েম নেরুদাজ ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ ইজ simple and to the point suggesting the sincerity of the speaker's emotion the very simple words actually present describe the sincerity of his emotions the sense of distance again is addressed in the second and third lines as he notes the stars shivering in the distance these lines contain images of nature which will become a central link to his memories and to his present state again the night the night or the darkness of night and the blue stars which shiver present the very resemblance of the mood which is matched there is a little bit of personification when the speaker says blue stars shiver shiver actually personification is a figure of speech in which the natural objects or the inanimate objects are invested with human qualities human attributions nil tarara kapche obosshoi ekhane personification chadao there is a metaphor in the night is shattered and the blue star shiver in the distance metaphor আর একটি ফিগার অফ স্পিচ বেস্ট অন সিমিলারিটিজ যেখানে ইমপ্লিসিট কম্পারিজন করা হয় দ্য পোয়েটস রিলেশন অ্যান্ড হিজ লাভ ইজ নাও স্যাটার লাইক দ্য নাইট অ্যান্ড হোয়ার দেয়ার ওয়াজ ওয়ান্স ওয়ার্মথ নাও এক্সিস্টেড কোল্ডনেস সো দ্য কমন ম্যাটার ইজ কোল্ডনেস কোল্ডনেস অফ রিলেশন কোল্ডনেস অফ লাভ দ্য কোল্ডনেস বিটুইন lovers metaphorically the shivering the word shivering represent the very coldness between the lovers the lovers are cold enough the lover is cold enough as 
there is coldness he also shivers just like the blue stars so here is also the metaphor and the distance blue stars the blue stars shiver in the distance distance of the blue stars from him reinforces the fact that he is also alone and his blue star is at a distance tar premika dure sore geche nil tarar tik temni bhabe dure royeche so the theme of alienation theme of aloneness is the recurrent theme the night wind revolves in the sky and sings so his condition is just like the night nocturnal atmosphere and the stars the night wind revolves rater batas ghure beracche akashe ebong gaan gaiche and the poet in the same vein in the same tone is writing and his writings his poems are nothing but singings the speaker contemplates the natural world focusing on those aspects of it that remind him of the lost love and the cosmic nature of of their relationship he begins writing at night a time when darkness will match his mood so the darkness of the night the night wind all match his mood of darkness loss and alienation the night sky filled with stars offer him no comfort so the the night and the stars generally give men the comfortable atmosphere but 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 this night does not offer him a comfort here neruda links the speaker's lover with nature a technique he will use throughout the poem to describe the sensual nature of their relationship the very physical aspect of their relationship sei jonno prakritir varnonar sange lover er mood ke ek sange tini mishiye diyechen tonight i can write the saddest lines i loved her i loved her ami take bhalo beshe chilam and sometimes she loved me too so sometimes here is the irony kokhono kokhono she bhalo basto arthat kobi nijei bolchen je she sob shomoy take bhalo basto na arthat the beloved was not constant to him tonight i can show that's why the rejection the pain makes him to write tonight so the fifth line is the repetition of the very opening line the very first line tonight i can write the saddest lines and what are the saddest lines the night is shattered the blue stars shiver in the distance i loved her and sometimes she loved me too through nights like this one i held her in my arms i kissed her again and again under the endless sky antahin akasher talay take ami bar bar chumbon korechi ebong take ami bokkhologno kore rekhechilam so the very past tense it reveals the aloneness the love was once but now it is lost in the eighth line the speaker remembers kissing his love again and again under the endless sky which was highly uh, criticized by the censor board a sky as endless as he had hoped their relationship would be he thought that their relationship would be endless their relationship their love would be vast just like the sky an ironic reversal of the line 6 occurs in the line 9 when the speaker states she loved me sometimes i loved her too the speaker may be offering a cynical statement of the fickle nature of love at this point however the eloquent bitter sweet lines that follow suggest that in this line he is trying to distance himself from the memory of his love for her and so ease his suffering immediately in the next line he contradicts himself when he admits how could one not have loved her great till i the poems contradictions create a tension that reflects the speaker's desperate attempts to forget the past the love is highly inspiring to him again this love makes the uh, lover align 
so that's why there are the juxtaposition of night the night when he is at present shattered when he is in the distance but he remembers the night when in the past he loved her loved his beloved loved her and kissed her again and again so the two nights are there the distinctive two nights two nocturnal atmospheres the change the transformation has occurred the sky is endless and he hoped the relationship would be endless but alas the but alas the situation has totally changed the theme of distance is introduced and it remains the recurring theme throughout the very poem so thank you guys in the next video i will present the very part two and if you are new to my channel please subscribe like comment and share thank you again for watching this video